ho, ho, ho. Um, actually, that's not right, is it? Hello again and welcome back to March Payne's Midlife Dolly Crisis. And today's doll was a bit of a surprise because I did not expect to find this doll in an actual shop to buy as if it were sort of recently released. It's actually from 2019 and it is this doll here. So this is part of the movie Ralph Breaks the Internet from Wreck-It Ralph. I think it's Wreck-It Ralph 2, I think. The doll was produced in 2019. She is, of course, Belle from Beauty and the Beast, but she is in sort of comfy gear. Um, if you have a look at the back of the box, you can kind of see images of images of the Disney princesses from the movie. And this little urchin down here is Vanellope, I believe, who is something to do with Wreck-It Ralph. I think she might be like his little sister or something. Basically, um, I think in the film they 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 come across the Disney princesses, but they're kind of out of out of character in that they're sitting around, sort of in comfy wear, sort of relaxing. So, yeah, when I saw this doll kind of on its own on a shelf, I was very surprised. I was kind of aware of the Disney princesses in this sort of more contemporary sort of look. I don't think I realised at the time that they were actually from Wreck-It Ralph, but I had seen images of them online. I think there were two waves of them. This, I think, was the second wave. Some of them are quite unusual. If you actually Google it, you'll be able to see that um, some of the princesses have sort of odd face moulds and things like that. And obviously they're dressed in very contemporary clothes rather than the stuff that they would normally come in. So I think that's quite interesting. I liked her because she had glasses. I liked her because she looked quite sort of cosy and everything. And honestly, I was not expecting to find her. So to kind of come across her, I thought, yeah, I think I'll have that. So we are going to open her and have a look at her. Oh, I should have just mentioned, she's actually produced by Hasbro. I kept thinking she was Mattel, but it is actually Hasbro. So, yeah, it was Hasbro in 2019. I don't know when the film came out, but I presume it was around the same time. So, let's have a look at her and see what we think of her. Okay, so here we go. So this is our Disney princess, obviously Belle, in her packaging. On the front here, we've got a picture of her in her sort of her regular outfit almost the sort of the, the yellow ball gown that we're used to seeing her in she appears to be reading from a book called this provincial life presumably because she lives in the country with uh with the prince i'm presuming or the beast or whatever the actual back of the card where the wish the doll is on we've got a picture of vanellope and i'm presuming this is sort of the setting where she finds the princesses all sort of cosy and, you know, relaxed. If we have a look on the back of the box, there are some other images here from the film, I'm, I'm kind of guessing. They don't really show them in in the cosy outfits, though. They still they still seem to be sort of in their sort of normal, normal clothes there. But obviously the animation is slightly different to what what we're used to with them as well. It says here on the back, in Disney's Ralph Breaks the Internet, Vanellope von Schweetz and the princesses find they have a lot in common. Now, I don't know how much screen time the princesses have. I think it's not, it's not a lot, probably, but um, presumably it's quite memorable if they're made dolls out of them. I should also mention at this point that this doll cost me €15.99. Which, you know, is kind of, it's all right, I suppose. Um, I think I was just so surprised to actually find that they still had a doll like this in stock. It was obviously the last one because she was sort of on a shelf all by herself. Um, I'm going to open the box, get her out, and then we'll have a proper look at her. Okay, so here we go. So she's out of her packet. So essentially she was sort of rubber banded and Kimball tagged to that sort of back piece. So there was a bit of snipping. She came out kind of okay. She did have two Kimball tags on the back of her head. So 
it isn't just Mattel that are doing it, which is kind of annoying. I thought she might be a little bit easier, seeing as it wasn't Mattel or MGA. But no, Hasbro decided to do it to, it, uh, to us as well. So she came out. She is actually a bit small um, in comparison, I guess, to a Barbie. Which I guess is kind of understandable because obviously, you know, they aren't going to want to make it easy for people to put her other in other clothes, particularly not put her in sort of Barbie clothes. Um, the only Barbie I've currently got to hand is a Barbie Extra. Um, I'm guessing that they aren't going to be too different in height to a regular Barbie. Um, she as she is um, one of the one of the curvy bod, uh, bodied Barbies, but but yeah, so she is a little bit a little bit shorter. She's quite cartoony looking, obviously, and she does have more sort of exaggerated features. But yeah, I just wanted to compare the height just to see if the clothes from one would fit the other. I'm pretty sure you could probably get Barbie clothes on this one. Um, presumably not not the curvy girl one, although to be honest, she, her body does seem a little bit smaller, I think, than than an actual sort of even a sort of a regular Barbie. So you might have a few issues if you want to redress her. But look, let's let's move let's move Barbie out of the way. So we'll have a quick look at the accessories that she comes with. So these were kind of in the box with her, but she wasn't actually wearing them. We will put her shoes on, obviously. So we've got a pair of a pair of boots. Now these are kind of interesting because she's got high heeled feet. The boots are sort of molded into a high heel pose, even though they don't have high heels, which is kind of weird. I think they do have some painted detail on. They've got painted laces sort of on the front. The rest of the details on there of which there's sort of stitching and stuff on the sole and at the back there. That is all just sort of moulded on. So that is those. Then in the same kind of colour as this, we've got this. I'm going to pop these down. Um, now this, I thought, oh, it's like a handbag, but I think it's meant to be a book that she's reading. And I'm presuming it might open because it's got this sort of catch on it. But that said, I'm not actually sure if... Ah, yes, it will. There we go. So, here it is. So, it's meant to be a book. So, inside the sort of lines... <laughs> but it's not really... It's not really giving me book. I don't know what it's giving me. It's um, it's a bit weird. It's a shame... It's a shame they couldn't have done it as, as a sort of a book. Even if it had literally been sort of like cardboard with a few pages in it it would have been better than this probably so yes yeah, so this is meant to be a book um we'll see how she holds it when we actually look at her um the front has got this sort of bejeweled effect there and the back has got a similar effect but it's got like a heart in it and we've got this here which i'm presuming is not a handle but is just going to help us get it into her into her uh, hand so she can actually hold it um, and presumably hold it open. This is probably, uh, if I can actually get the damn thing open again, there we go, it does open. Um, presumably this is meant to be the book that she's reading on the front of the box which is My Provincial Life. Let's have a look at the doll now. So here is her face. She looks quite surprised. She's got an open mouth smile, which is quite cute. She has very large eyes. She's very animated, which I suppose is, is, is OK, because she is meant to be an animated character in the movie. She's also got these glasses on, which do not have lenses. Um, the glasses are the same sort of red as her shoes and also as the book. I don't. No, if we can get... Oh, yes, they do come off. OK, that's fine. There we go. So, so yeah, they're just sort of like moulded. They aren't, they aren't foldable or anything like that. They've got little details on the, uh, on the frame just at the top there. They're kind of like cat-eye shaped, I guess. Um, and obviously they can go a 
presume around the ears because they've got the, the kind of the hook bit on the end. So let's put that down. You can have a better look at her face now. So she's obviously got a pale complexion. She's got a sort of a pale pink lip and you can see her sort of white teeth there. She does have, I think, a bit of blushing on her. Yeah, I think she's got blushing. There is a faint mark just here because obviously she's been in the box for a while and wearing the glasses. So I guess that's bound to happen. Her eyes have a sort of a gloss to them. And if you touch them, um, they do feel a bit different to, to the rest of her. So it's quite nice. It's kind of got that sort of glossy effect rather than it just being a matte colour on there. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you kind of can. Um, obviously it could be pixelation for all we know, but the eyes actually look okay. They don't look sort of pixelated. They... They just look a bit shiny. She's got a kind of a widow's peak here with the hairline and then it goes into this sort of ponytail style. It's sort of twisted around at the back. I think this is more in keeping with her hair in the film when it's kind of tied back. I, I'm not going to release it because I think it'll probably be a bit messy anyway. Um, I don't know what the hair is made of, so don't ask me. It doesn't feel amazing. It feels a little bit coarse, but it's also got a smoothness to it at the same time. So I actually don't know. And that's obviously a sort of a chestnut brown colour, which is quite nice. If we go down, she is wearing... She's wearing a sort of an, a long sort of sweatshirt with this sort of kangaroo pocket thing here at the front. There are raw edges. There is a raw edge around the neck, around the, the sleeves here, and also on the, the bits of the pocket on either side. There's printing detail on it. This is Geek Chic with a picture of a rose on. I don't mind that being sort of drawn on like that because obviously, you know, it's meant to be a print on, on the actual sweatshirt. The sort of cuff and the bit around the collar, which are meant to be, I'm presuming, sort of ribbing, that, that is also, unfortunately, just sort of printed on. So it's a paler yellow around the neck. There is some stitching detail sort of underneath that bit. Presumably just to kind of show where the ribbing bit is meant to start. There is not a stitching detail around around the cuff bit that just goes straight into that sort of paler, paler yellow area. There's Velcro on the back to sort of get the outfit on and off. If we go further down, she's wearing these leggings. These leggings are actually very nice because I didn't realise they've actually got sort of a glitter effect on them. Um, so yeah, they're bright red. They have got glitter on them. They again have a kind of a raw edge but they are sort of stitched a little above that, which seems a bit odd. Why not just turn them up and stitch them rather than we'll give it a raw edge and then we'll just stitch. And again, they've got, oh no, they haven't got Velcro. They've finished off very badly, actually. <laughs> they look like something I would have sewed. Um, so they've got, I think they've got elastic sewn around the waist area bit. But you presumably they will just come off and you can put them back on. They don't have a proper fastening or anything. I thought maybe they'd have Velcro as well, but they don't. They've got little bits of yellow, I'm guessing, from from the sweatshirt bit. Um, articulation wise, so the head will tilt and go up and down, which is fine. The arms, the arms come out, the arms go up and around and then she's also got articulation at the elbow as well. Now, the elbow sort of joint looks a bit weird. I've not really seen one like this before, it's almost like a ball joint there. Um, so it doesn't really, 
it doesn't have a huge amount of articulation there. It will move. Obviously, it's better than nothing, you know, because it's not sort of stiff limbed. But um, yeah, you can't. She can't touch her own face, for instance. Um, she does also have articulation in the wrists as well. She feels a bit loose in her elbow, which is a little bit odd, considering she is sort of new, I suppose. Um, she's got a bit of something on her hand there. Um, but yeah, she can't really, she can't really bend them any more than that, which is, it's kind of all right, I suppose. Um, she did come with her hand in her pocket in in the packaging, which was a bit weird because I don't actually know how they managed to do that now without sort of pulling this further down. But yeah, her hand was in her pocket. If you go further down, I don't... Yeah, I don't, she's got no articulation on the waist at all. Her legs... Her legs feel quite solid and I think they just come out. I don't think there's any articulation on the, in the knee area. They they do feel very solid. So I'm guessing there's nothing there. And there's obviously nothing nothing on the ankle either. And look, there's the, the high heeled feet that she's got there. So I am going to put her back in all of her stuff and we'll put the shoes on and give her the book as well. And we'll have a final look at her. Okay, so here we go. She's kind of holding the book as best she, as she can. Obviously, because her elbows don't bend that much, it's kind of hard to, to get her to actually read the book. She can kind of, actually, she can't actually lower her, her face any further down. Maybe she has to hold it like this. Oh, she dropped the book now. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, she, she kind of has to hold it awkwardly to try and read it. I think it would have worked better if they'd given her a bag. I guess in the in the movie she's she has a book with her, so that's why they've given her a book. But um, maybe they could have just given us a a book that didn't open. I don't know if we needed it to open. It could have just been a prop for her, really. Um, she can kind of hold it at least in her hands. So look, she can hold it like that, like a briefcase. Um, if we have a look at the feet, you'll see what I mean about the weird. The weird high-heeled feet in the high-heeled boots, which aren't high-heeled, <laughs> which is a bit weird. So I don't actually think she, she won't be able to stand properly. She'd have to be on a stand or something. Um, yeah, because if you kind of hold her like this, she basically just wants to fall back. There's nothing for her to, to sort of stand properly on. I think if they'd actually just given these a high heel, she might have stood in them because she's, you know, she's quite um, sturdy, I would say, because, you know, her legs don't have articulation in them. So she might have actually stood up if they'd given her actual high heeled boots at the back. You know, the, the heel had been, had been flat with the rest of the boot. It might have worked. But obviously it was not to be, unfortunately. So that is... Comfy Squad Disney Princess Belle from Ralph Breaks the Internet. Let me know what you think of her. Let me know if you've had any unusual doll finds recently. I certainly wasn't expecting to find this girl. I was actually in a toy shop in the middle of the middle of Ireland. Um, I'd gone to a wedding and we happened across a toy shop and obviously I wanted to go in so we went in and there she was, just kind of randomly, randomly in the shop. So obviously I had to get her. She was kind of my treat for having to be sort of sociable for for a couple of hours. Um, but yeah, let me know if, as I say, if you've had any unusual doll finds recently. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And... Please share the video if you know anyone else would like this kind of content and I will see you in the next one. So until then, take care. Bye.